Hey everyone, I am Mr. Helper. Today I am here to help you to find out is your computer is good enough to run Tomb Raider at a playable frame rate? My goal is that after watching this video completely, you will be left out with no doubt. Can you run Tomb Raider 2013 on your current PC configuration? Does your computer meet the minimum and recommended system requirements? I am here to talk about that. Come on, let's get started. Okay, I am going to break this video up into 4 parts. Part 1. What are the minimum and recommended system requirements for Tomb Raider? Part 2. Determine the exact configuration of your PC. Part 3. This is the interesting part. This is going to be a favorite part. We will do a detailed investigation. Is your PC good enough to run Tomb Raider? How many FPS you will get on your current PC while playing Tomb Raider? Which display resolution will give you the most FPS? Stuff like that. After doing all of this, you will know whether your PC can run Tomb Raider or not. Part 4. In this part, I will talk about my other channels. That's all. Okay, let's do it. This is the part 1, Tom Raider system requirements. Please pay attention. Whether you bought Tom Raider on Steam, Epic Games or GOG, the system requirements for Tom Raider 2013 will be same for all these platforms. First, let's talk about system requirements for playing Tom Raider. As you can see on the screen, for Windows operating system user, you need at least Windows XP Service Pack 3 or later, such as Windows 11 which is also supported. Let's talk about processors. For Intel user, you need at least Intel Core 2 Duo E6300. But for the best performance, it is recommended to have Intel Core i5-750. On other side, for AMD user, you need at least AMD Athlon 64X2-4050+. plus. But for the best performance, it is recommended to have AMD Phenom 2 X4 955. Let's talk about memory which is RAM, sometimes people call it RAM also. The minimum RAM required is 1GB of RAM and 2GB for Windows Vista. Recommended is 4GB of RAM for Windows 7 or later such as Windows 11 which is also supported as I told you before. Ok now let's talk about graphics card, GPU. The minimum system requirement is DirectX 9 supported graphics card with 512 MB of video RAM which is NVIDIA 8600 or AMD Radeon HD 2600XT but for the best performance it is recommended to have DirectX 11 supported graphics card with 1GB of video RAM which is NVIDIA GTX 480 or AMD Radeon HD 5870 Ok now the last part is hard drive space as per the official system requirement from Square Linux, you need at least 12 GB of hard drive space. But after adding DLC and other stuff, the hard drive space increased a lot. But as per my experience, it is not mentioned anywhere. 12 GB is not enough, okay, for this game. You need a little bit more, like 15-20 uh, GB, I think. Maybe 30 GB. I'm not. I don't remember exactly how much. But 12 GB is not enough. If you add the DLC and other stuff. If you have bought the DLC and other stuff, 12GB is not enough. Allow me to show you the system requirements for macOS also. As you can see on the screen, here are the system requirements. You can pause the video and read it by yourself. Ok, now moving on to part 2 of this video. If you don't know what is your current PC configuration, nothing to worry about. I will tell you a very easy way to find it. So what you have to do is, simply right click on your start button, then click on run. And right over here, simply type DXDIAG. You can write this in uppercase or lowercase, it doesn't matter. Okay, click on OK. Open your notepad and write down the name of your processor, RAM, and graphics card. You will need this later. As you can see now, in operating system, I am using Windows 11. Processor, I have Intel Core i5 6402P. Memory, 8192 MB, which is 8 GB RAM. For graphics card, click on display. I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti graphics card. VRAM, which is video RAM. I am having 2GB of VRAM. I am not sure why it is saying not available, which is weird for me. I don't know why. Okay, anyway. Once you have noted down your processor name, graphics card and RAM. Now, let's proceed to part 3, which is the important and most interesting part of this video. Okay, let's go. Ok, this is the third part. Open your browser and search for technical CT can I run it. 
just simply search it like this click on the first link which is technical.ct okay click on it now right over here there is an option select the game click on it and type Tom Rider okay this is the game we are looking for now scroll down and as you can see the minimum system requirement this is the official okay minimum system requirement and recommended system requirements scroll up and select your processor just type the last name like uh, I have 6402P okay as you can see Intel Core i5-6402P open it I mean select it sorry now click on GPU and type your graphics card last name like uh, I have GeForce GTX 750 Ti select it now select RAM okay I have 8 GB RAM and guys notice notice over here once I click on uh, my RAM it will go and check the mark okay it will go and check it as you can see memory is been checked CPU is good enough my graphics card is good enough even I can play this game at recommended settings okay now scroll down and right over here you can see that I can play this game at approx at 768p I will get 347 fps this is approx not exactly okay you cannot just say that I am gonna get exactly like 347 fps no this is a rough idea it is approximate fps okay at lower settings I will get around 347 fps okay 347 fps at medium setting I will get 179 fps at high setting I will get 110 fps and at ultra I will get 50 fps okay now I think you have a clear idea that your current PC can run Tomb Raider or not if so what resolution approximate what fps you will get and things like that you have a clear idea right guys before we proceed to part 4 there's few things I want to talk about I have already made a lots of videos on this topic Tom Rider how to fix this and that for example how to change Tom Rider language from Russian to English how to find Tom Rider safe file location and many more videos like this please check the description box below for that playlist link okay in that playlist I have added all those videos okay now let's move to part 4 okay the last part okay now on to the part 4 of this video this is the last part before you go let me tell you this I have some other channel as well simply visit my channel click on channel tab and subscribe to me click on subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and click on all so that you will get notification for all my upcoming videos and don't forget to subscribe guys really I want your support on this channel as well please do subscribe okay this means a lot to me I will be happy to know if you have subscribed to this channel as well thank you for subscribing for my subscriber I also do on demand videos that means my subscriber can ask their question in comment section if it's possible for me to make separate video on their topic then I also do that okay thank you for subscribing guys please do support all of these channels okay so that's all for today thank you for watching this video thank you for subscribing my other channel and this one okay so until then take care have a nice day and I will see you next time. Bye.